Hey everybody, I'm Evan and welcome back to Magnolias and Sunlight, the video side of my blog, magnoliasandsunlight.com. If you're new, welcome. I'm so excited you guys are here because today we're doing some DIYs for spring, some resort wear that was very, very expensive and I found ways to hack it, make it a little cheaper, um, but get you guys the same look. And if you're a returning viewer, you probably saw last week's video with all the spring break DIYs and I kind of teased this one. So I'm glad you guys came back to check it out. On Mondays, I normally post a workout video with Matt, but he's been feeling a little bit under the weather. So we didn't film a video this week because he needed to get better. And so I postponed this video, which was supposed to go up yesterday to today. So I hope nobody has any hard feelings, but that's just the way that it is. So in this video, I'm making three different things and I am finished with two and I am still kind of sort of working through one. There's quite a bit of sewing. So these projects were a little more technically challenging than the ones that I did last week, but not much. I'm going to post pictures on the screen somewhere of the inspiration that I got for these and then I will tell you where you can buy the real ones. You can buy that product without having to make it yourself. It's just going to cost a little more money than what I spent on this stuff here. So let's start out first with this purse. These pom-pom wicker bags are everywhere, all over fashion bloggers' websites, all over Pinterest, all over shopbop.com. They started to get really popular last summer and I really, really liked them, but I just couldn't justify spending like $150 on a wicker bag. So I found this one on Amazon. It was Amazon Prime for $32. So this is the most expensive DIY project that I've done in the last two weeks, but I think it's totally worth it. I grabbed this bag because it has the short leather handles, but it also has longer leather handles, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can tuck the long handles inside and then carry it like this. So I did a little blue ombre. Blue is my favorite color. I wear a lot of blue. Um, I've seen these done with bright oranges and pinks where it goes from yellow all the way to a really deep red, which I also love. And the cool thing about this bag, if you want to make it a little easier, you can just glue these on, but I wired these in. So if I decide to change the color of the pom-poms, I totally can and I probably will. So for this project, you're going to need a wicker bag, some yarn in multiple colors to make your pom-poms, some E6000 glue, and then some wire if you want to wire them in. So the first step to make your pom-pom, you're just going to take the yarn and wrap it around your hand. The more you use, the fluffier your pom-poms will be. Once you get your desired amount, you'll just cut a little piece and slip it off your hand and use that little piece that you cut to tie a really tight knot all the way around the little pom-pom that you've made, make sure that it is centered, otherwise your strings will be all kind of crazy. So tie that super tight and then take your scissors and you're just going to cut all of the loops to make them singles and then you'll just fluff it up until you guys have a pom-pom. Then you can arrange them in the order that you want and place them on your bag. So once they are situated, you can either just use your glue and put some on there and hold it. You'll want to probably tape them down or hold them there for a while so that they don't move. But I'm going to use some wire. So I lost some footage, but just get your wire and stick it through the pom-pom and then find a hole in the wicker. Put it through and tie it off on the back. I stuck the rest of the wire back through the wicker so that it was hidden, but that way I can change the pom-poms later. So the next project is one that I love, and I've been seeing these hats on a lot of people um, on their trips to the Bahamas, on trips to like Hawaii and stuff, and it is an embellished straw hat. So these ones can go for like $350, and usually they don't say your name. You can get these um, personalized now on Etsy and places like that if you don't want to make one yourself. But And so the ones that I've seen say things like Fiesta Not Siesta or basically beachy fun party sayings. But I grabbed this one off of Amazon. I don't recommend buying this hat. I will link all of the products that I bought on Amazon down below so that you guys can order them but I would find a different hat. This one came like shrink wrapped in a package. And as you can see, it kind of got a little funky and I haven't quite reshapen it yet. I've been doing my best. I have a metal wire running through the brim so that helps reshape it a little bit. If you see a straw hat with a black ribbon, 
I DIY'd the ribbon, which you will see in just a second. I saw one with the ribbon already included in the Target dollar section. I think it was $5. So that was actually cheaper than the one that I purchased and you don't have to bother with putting the ribbon on. So then I just took some sequin ribbon and I wrote Evan Elizabeth on it. One that is embroidered um, at H&M, which is I think only about $15. So if the $350 price tag is a little too steep and you don't want to DIY, you can get an embroidered hat like this, an embroidered straw hat like this at H&M. So for this project, you'll need a hat and some black grain ribbon. You'll also need a pencil, a mechanical pencil did not work to write your name, and then some sequin ribbon and once again, glue. So take your ribbon and wrap it around the hat. Uh, this is just measuring how much you're going to need. and then. Cut it off, but leave a little extra because you'll want to fold that end over so that it doesn't fray. So take your E6000 glue and put a really good layer all over the ribbon until it is glued around. And like I said, fold that last little bit over so that you kind of have a tab, but that way the ribbon won't fray. So then take your pencil and write your name or whatever you want. You can use the ridges in the straw hat as a guide so everything is equal. And I ended up using Gem Tack because the nozzle on the glue made it a lot easier to write with. And then you're just going to go over your pencil with the glue and cover it up completely. And then take your sequin ribbon and just follow along all the way around, making sure that it's even. And if you have some leftover pencil marks, which I did because I forgot a letter, uh, you can just take a gummy eraser and get rid of those. So then you're gonna to wanna to go through and do a little bit of touch-ups. You're going to wanna to dot your I's and cross your T's, so to say. And then you have your hat, so just let it dry overnight. Let Make sure the glue is completely dry before you wear it, and you will be styling at the pool. So the last project that I am doing is one that I saw on one of my favorite fashion bloggers, and I clicked the link, and it was totally sold out. Um, however, it was like a $350 bathing suit cover-up, which I can't justify spending. So I found a white sarong on Amazon. You want to make sure that you buy one that doesn't have fringe on the edges. This one didn't look like it did, but, it, when, it, but when it showed up in the mail, um, one side was fringed. So I just cut it off and put a new hem in. Um, and then I made all of these colored tassels, which I will show you how I made them, in four different colors, and now I am just slowly working my way all the way around the edge of this, sewing the tassels on. But I think this will be super cute at the beach, at the pool, um, just a little thing to throw on. You can throw it over your shoulders like a scarf, or you can tie it around you like uh, you would normally tie a bathing suit cover up. Uh, this is just a really big white piece of fabric. You could actually forego buying the sarong or just a big white scarf and just buy some gauzy fabric at the craft store if you wanted to. Hem all four sides and then sew on the tassels. So I'm really sorry that this is not finished but it took longer to sew these tassels on than I thought and I had to pack last night because I am about to leave for a flight. Sorry about the lighting in this one. It kind of got weird. I was doing this in the dark. Uh, you're going to want a white sarong for this project. Some scissors multiple colors of embroidery thread. I used four different colors to make all of my tassels, some white thread, and a needle so that you guys can sew them on. So for the first step, take your embroidery thread and cut about eight inches, and then you're gonna wanna cut that piece in half again. This is what you're going to use to tie off the loops for your tassels. So then just like I did in the last video, you're just gonna tie right up next to the top, really, really tight, wrap it around, and tie it again. This is so that you have something to create the loop. You're gonna do that for both of the sides, and once both of the sides are done, you'll just fold the entire thing in half, take your scissors, and just cut it in half, uh, and then you have two tassels. So I made 10 of each, so I had to buy five of each color. So then we had to do some math. You have to take the measurement of each side of your sarong, divide it by the number of tassels that you have, and that way all of your tassels will be evenly separated. Uh, mine came out to about 5.3 inches, so then I just took a tape measure and I measured it out and drew a little mark where I was going to sew each one of the tassels. I wanted them to be more or less even. 
So then you just take your white thread and your needle and start sewing. This takes a long time to do by hand because you have to tie all of the knots over and over. So that's why this one wasn't completely done. I am still tying knots and still sewing these things on, but once it's done, I'm so excited to wear it. It's going to look fantastic. So those are all of my resort wear DIYs. I hope you guys like them. If you have anything else that you would like me to make, if you have a designer piece or um, something that you found online, send me a photo and I will do my best to try and figure out how to make it for a little bit cheaper or waiting until the summer like I'm gonna have to do to find a sandy location or even just a warm pool. But I am really excited to wear all of these things and incorporate them all into my wardrobe. I never DIY anything unless I'm actually going to use it. So like I said, I'm super excited about all of it. Make sure you check out my video on Thursday. It's going to be an unboxing of the March Pop Sugar Box, which, I, which I'm about to film right now. So you guys can see that. I'm doing some pre-filming, because like I said. So make sure you check all the links down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, because I am really excited how all of these turned out. So I hope that you guys are too. If you make any of them, please send me a photo. You could tweet it to me or send it to me on Instagram. Both of those accounts are down below. Also, I'll put them somewhere here on the screen so that you guys can follow along. I post there quite a bit. Uh, check out the blog this week. There are a few things coming up. Um, Easter dresses, uh, things to wear on St. Patrick's Day because we all have to wear green. Also, if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel because there is a lot coming every Monday, every Thursday, and every once in a while on a Sunday if I have enough content. So I will see you guys in the next video. Love you lots. Bye.